I recently picked up the GMK Tech K4 Mini PC because it was really one of the cheapest systems on Amazon that I could get that came with a Ryzen 9 7940HS. Specs wise, this chip isn't exactly that much faster than the 7840HS, but I wanted to actually see how it would be. So I got my hands on it and I pretty much just started testing it immediately. I loaded up the usual assortment of titles that I take a look at and very quickly I started to run into some issues. While testing out titles like Tiny Tina's Wonderland and Mountain Blade Bannerlord 2, as well as Returnal and even Deus Ex Mankind Divided, they were all showing a similar issue where everything would be fine at the beginning of a benchmark, but at some point throughout it, it will start to essentially show these consistent spikes that happen in the frame times. And you'll even see it on the screen where everything is essentially starting to stutter. And it's extremely distracting and it pretty much ruins the entirety of the experience. And this is odd because if you look at the temperatures that we're getting while this is happening, we're not reaching temperatures to thermal throttle or anything like that. And yet this is happening. So at this point, I started to assume that maybe there's something that is limiting the system in some way. So I booted into the BIOS. And unfortunately, in the BIOS, there really is not much of any kind of control that you have over the TDP of this system. It's extremely basic and extremely locked down. You're not really going to be able to adjust much of anything. So the default configuration that you get out of the box is essentially the only option that you have. This started to make me concerned because if this was actually a power limiting problem, well, then that means the entire system is kind of useless because you can't adjust anything here. Now the included power adapter should be more than enough to supply this system. And if you took a look at the benchmarks that we saw where you saw the issues that were happening, if you look at the power wattage, that we're using it's at 45 watts while it isn't the highest that we've ever seen out of a mini pc something like the um 780 xtx has an out of the box tdp configuration that can go all the way up to 70 watts this at 45 watts isn't going to be that much slower in any real situations because of the fact that most of the time you're not really going to be overloading this thing at all like that unless you were hitting all of the cores on the gpu and the cpu you're not really going to see much of a difference in all CPU core workloads, more than likely there would be a noticeable difference between the two, but it would really be those mixed workloads where both things are being hammered to their max that things would start to become more noticeable. That said though, we are seeing some kind of limitation here. So I set the Windows power plan to the high performance mode. That didn't change anything. Messing around with really so many different configuration settings and just trying to figure out some way to solve this issue, it kind of just dawned on me. I remember seeing a serve the home video about a Minus Forum mini PC that was exhibiting stuttering in games like League of Legends, even though on paper it should have been significantly faster. And the reason that things were limited there was because the memory was actually overheating. Now, luckily, the GMK Tech K4 actually does make it very easy to access the RAM. You just need to pop the top cover and you have access to it. So while I was in the middle of running a benchmark, for Tiny Tina's Wonderland, just again trying to figure out what is going on. As the benchmark started, I just pop off the top lid and I start using the lid itself to fan the RAM and you'll see the frame time chart completely level off. This pretty much just showed that this is a complete failure of memory cooling here because that is leading to horrible performance in games. So to verify this completely, what I actually ended up doing was I picked up the second PC that I have laying around here and I just plugged in an extra case fan onto it that I plopped up on top of the K4 with its lid off. So with a 120 millimeter case fan on top of the system itself while running through the benchmarks again in all of the different games that I tested, we no longer were getting any of those stuttering issues at all. And as a side effect here, the overall temperature this, that the system were reaching were actually lower because the extra cooling of that much larger fan on top just blasting through all of it was just going to naturally reduce the temperatures of everything around. So in general, this time around, we were actually getting good performance 
apartments, but in a way that I don't think it's practical for the vast majority of people to use. So I'm kind of just left wondering how do I even approach continuing to test this system? Because I mean, once it gets the cooler on there, it performs pretty well, but without it, it's essentially an unplayable experience. So I'll, I'll be testing this system a lot more, but this was just such a weird situation that I felt like I needed to show you guys this. This is just so weird. I do remember back when I was in contact with GMK Tech and they sent me a, fruit, a few review units, I did ask for a review sample of the K4 and they denied it. And uh, it's interesting to see how all of that turned out. I don't hold any bad blood or anything over them denying me. I mean, I was a significantly smaller channel back then and I'm still a tiny channel right now. So I'm not really upset that a company doesn't want to work with me. But it is funny that for a product that I had asked for, it turns out to have an issue like this. Now, I don't know if anybody else with a K4 has had this problem. I didn't look up any videos on it or anything like that, but I didn't see anything about anyone saying anything overtly negative about it online or anything. So I don't know if this is just a me issue or something. So if you have had a K4, let me know down below if you've encountered any weird inconsistencies while gaming or anything like that, because this, this is an odd situation for sure. But I'll catch you guys in the next one.